All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Virgo. What is the word, Joe? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion, Red, Tarot, and I am back at it again, back, back at it again. Yes, indeed, as promised, to do the love portion of your reading. We're going to find out what's going on in love with you currently, and this is a timeless reading. Whenever this message gets you, it gets you, okay? So I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, a shout out to all my newbies, to all my babies for like, sharing, subscribe and clicking this video I want to give a shout out to God first and foremost father God thank you so much for collecting and gathering us all here thank you for protecting us providing for us and guiding us father um, thank you for um, giving us guidance today in advance we want to thank you in advance for giving us love guidance for the people in current relationships to help them nurture and develop and um, mold their current relationships and for the people that are looking to enter into new prosperous and loving and abundant relationships father god please give us the guidance so that virgo can call that love into their life in jesus name we thank you for each and every day we pray amen amen and amen all right all right you guys let's get into this virgo let's see what we got going on with you guys in love let's do a quick shuffle real quick and see what the current energies is surrounding my virgos in love what's going on What's going on? Virgo, what is the bird, yo? What is the bird? Alright, let's see. What energies we got for my Virgos? Child, I, mm -mm, I'm putting it back. I don't even want it. I don't even want it. Hold on, what else is this? No more card. Oh, okay. Alrighty. We got the I like you card. We got the seduction card. Okay. And we got the stab in the back. God damn. So <laughs> I'm not even going to tell y'all the other cards that was coming out. <gasps> I am not even going to tell you the other cards that was coming out. Basically, what this is telling me is like someone got stabbed in the back by like a friend. Yeah, it's like they're being seduced by your lover or somebody that you like. Well, I don't know if, if, if it's you that is just like my bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt you, but I like this person and this person has been seducing me. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, y'all are not official. Y'all haven't done anything like <laughs> Y'all are not an item. You know what I'm saying? And this person likes me. And this person is coming at me. Like, I'm sorry. But he likes me. Or she likes me. You know? So, it's something like that. It's something most definitely like that. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see what's going on. Child cheese. I just heard, what would you do for a turn back bar? <laughs> not what would you do for a turn back bar? What would you do for a climb deck bar? What? Child, this better not be no work situation ship. Mm -mm. Cause we got a situation ship, I guess. Mm -mm. Y'all know that snow and leg on situation ship. Mm -mm. Listen. So, look, I, uh, let me see what else is going on. But tell me what else is going on in this situation before I say anything further. Before I say anything further. You got the Empress in the verse. You got the Three of Wands. And the strength. Yeah, it's like, okay. Uh, this is like confirming this. Like, oh my God, what's at the and look in the at the bottom of the deck is the nine of swords. Oh my gosh. Look at this person. She seems like she is just like absolutely getting the worst news of her life. She feels like she's getting attacked by a whole bunch of bad news and gossip. I heard this person is very angry at this person. It's like it's like being onslaughtered by all of these people telling her all of this shit that's going on, you know? She got to hear it day in and day out. It's just like, it's out of that order. Thoughts of what's going on just being processed in her mind. It's just, you see how like the birds was attacking her? 
it's like messages, messages, and, and, and or something just keep replaying in somebody's mind. But it, you got the strength card, the three of wands, and the empress in the reverse. So I, I, I'm, I'm definitely getting the same energy. It's like someone is trying to get the courage to tell someone that I think that the grass is green on the, on the other side. It's like, I like you and you're beautiful, but it's like, I, I don't want to say this, but it's just like, I just heard you're not as attractive as you think you are. Like somebody thinks that they're the shit, but it's like maybe on the outside, on the outside looking in, yeah, you're beautiful and everything, but it's something. I just heard destitution. Like this, someone is this it's a level of destitution. Like someone's destitute. It's like searching for love, um, not really seeing their self. It's something. It's somebody in this situation that is like, like I said, destitute. It's like they have this level of pressure and destitution to get someone to pay them attention and to like them and it's like i'm cool with you but i really don't like you like that i kind of like your friend you know and it's like this woman is going to feel stabbed in the back because i feel like whoever this bitch is think she's all that i kind of feel like this is not the virgo i feel like the virgo is the one that is being seduced by the man with the master plan I feel like this is going on around the Virgo. This is some shit that you need to know that is happening. So like if some smoke come up the pike, you know what I'm saying? And again, by a bitch that thinks she's all that, but literally like she's not. Like the Empress in the reverse is somebody that needs to change some things about their self. Because if they was, then why should not pop it for you? Why you ain't got no man? Why you ain't got no children? Why your home? I can only imagine what your home look like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like someone got a whole bunch of fashions and stuff on, but at home you ain't got no furniture. Nah, so <laughs> it's like, you know, girl, you don't spend $1,500 on a wig and a hair frontal piece or whatever the hell them things is called but you ain't got no car so it's like girl you got your priorities fucked up or something like that like there's something going on and it's like this person i don't even really feel like y'all was friends for real i just feel like it's somebody that really think that they hard to try and that that they're really down somebody's back. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really down somebody's back. And somebody is just like, unfortunately, when I can tell you, like, sis, like, me and you were just cool. Like, I actually got, I have my sights, my sights set on something else. Like, I really do. It's like, I might have, I feel like it's being exposed that someone might just be, have been entertaining someone for the moment. Um, but they will feel stabbed behind, you know, stabbed in the back because it's like this person secretly likes somebody else. And they only like, just like you as a per Look, a letter, you're, you're definitely about to be getting some news, some communication about this. What's going on? Give me one more card. Thank you. You got... And you got the bear. I was thinking about this before. Like when I seen the seduction card and I like you and being stabbed in the back. I was automatically getting like some workplace situation. Oh, I heard somebody might file a workplace harassment claim after they get it rejected. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. Do not go fucking with people at y'all jobs. Like that is just not healthy. That is not healthy. The next thing you know, someone's going to go report you because they ain't trying to get the situation going the way that you wanted them to. Like, that is some pure bullshit. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Because they like you and not the other person. Like, get the fuck out of here. Why I'm saying that is because, like, this could be a boss with the bear hair, I feel like this person could be hiding something, could be hiding their intentions. The stars, I'm getting like, it's like you shine, you illuminate the sky. You know what I'm saying? Like to this person, it's something like 
this person could be having like a gloomy and fucked up day at work but it's like when you come in the room it's like your smiles and your intentions for the day is set on it being beautiful and you having a luxurious day so it's like you bring light where there was darkness you know what i'm saying just your personality like how bouncy like how creative how inspiring you are you know like you are like you might not know everything that there is to know but it's like some level of passion and uh drive that's in you that really makes you shine and this person really likes you a lot like not even just on like a sexual level like i feel like sexually like you're hot as fuck too but i feel like what really brought you to this person's attention is the way that you glow and whoever this person is I always, when I see the bear, I think it's ever a boss or someone that is extremely overprotective of you. Their intentions are definitely hidden right now. As you see, this person has a mask on, you know. Um, I definitely feel like they might be hiding these intentions from you. That's why that strip card is right there. It's like, I, I need to just boss up and just tell this person... You know that I, I really like you. Like I, 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 I want to see how things will go if we move forward. And 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 again with that three of wands sitting right there, that's basically telling me like this person wasn't willing to really risk and put themselves out there and make a move and try to seduce this woman until they're sure that they're getting a green light so like this three of wands this is the green light it's okay to go like if this three of wands would have came out in the reverse then i would tell you uh i don't think that you should risk you know what i'm saying trying to put your intentions out there with this co-worker of yours but with this three of wands here i definitely think like they've been waiting for you to make that move too mm. yeah it's like a wish a hope a dream you know what i'm saying it's like some type of dream coming true it's like you guys could like mutually like each other and could start communicating this like through text messages or something. I feel like it's just like light messages like y'all might have been checking up on a project or something. But just like, hey, what you doing this weekend? You know what I'm saying? Um, you want to go out and get some drinks like off the record? You know, like, you know, I want you I want you to feel comfortable. And I don't want you to feel like, you know, and it's like because it's like it's mutual energy. It's like this person was waiting for you to put that invitation out there because I definitely feel like whoever this was felt felt it too like I I feel like my boss likes me but I'm not sure like I feel like he's been trying to hide his intentions and you know what I'm saying he's been holding back he's been hiding his intention but it's like now that you put it out there like let's get it cracking it just might hurt somebody else's feelings because it, they thought should they thought because they was on the supervisor dick that you know they was gonna be <laughs> <laughs> the one riding the horse and carriage and you're not putting you're not you have the page of pinnacles so you're definitely getting a small offer there is a small offer being put on the table you might learn a lot about each other at this stage you know what i'm saying because it's new uh it's not it's very new it's very new but someone is going to put their intentions out there they're going to let their intentions be known and they're very serious about it and they're going to invest a lot of time and you know dedication to getting to know you seeing how things work and you know there's some strong intentions out there and strong intentions out there let's see what we got going on what we got going on now we got the hierophant in the reverse and the nine of wands again like the hierophant in the reverse again i definitely feel like this is a boss a leader and they feel like what they're about to do might not um it's like a um damn i was just about to say it earlier too it might not be ethical you know it may not be ethical and then you got the five of swords in the reverse i definitely feel like there's someone that's going to tell on you if somebody's going to stab y'all in the back and it's going to like once this person finds out and i am going to put this out on the table no i'm sorry no, because it's like this bitch wanted that motherfucker for they self. They didn't want anything for you. You know what I'm saying? Like this this person, there's an enemy and there's somebody that's watching because there's someone that is jealous. That's why I feel like whatever y'all got going on, you might got to guard it and protect it and keep it on the low. 
I feel like there's somebody that's a supervisor. If, if the Virgo is a, if it's a male energy, like you could most definitely be the male energy here. This Virgo, male, you could be of high stature. You could be someone supervisor and things like that. And you feel that if you don't hide and keep it on the low, that you're thinking about dating one of your co-workers, somebody that's a part of your staff. Again, because it's something about this being unethical. You're scared somebody's going to report that shit. Like you, you're definitely scared someone's going to report that shit. Especially this bitch. Because it's some bitch at your job that likes you a lot. But you do not, you do not like her. You do not look at her like that. And as soon as she find out that you... Like you're going to have to guard this shit with you. Because this bitch is going to go low. And I mean low. You're going to really see, like, this bitch is going to get treacherous, treacherous, treacherous. Like, literally trying to get you fired or barred from your position. Like, kicked out of your role. So, that's a warning. I def You might get some communication like you were being disbarred. I don't Is that the right term? Disbarred? Like, I... Like, you... you just, like, being voted out or something like that. Like, you're no longer able to sit on the seat as the higher fan. Like you might gotta go start over and start something. But I mean it's like you, you get another offer somewhere else. Like you can learn something else. But you start somewhere else. It's, so that's another message. That's another message right there. I feel like someone might get kicked out of an organization or group but it's like you don't give a fuck because I got a whole new opportunity and I'm already studying and I'm already learning how to be a boss and that shit. So I don't give a shit. That's some real fucked up ass people. Like you're a fucking hater. Like if somebody is a fucking hater, bruh. Like what the hell? I see why you've been trying to hold back and not show people. You know. Listen, it says stabbed in the back. Heart, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack. it was a relationship for someone to break up with you I feel like it was all in somebody's motherfucking head it's just somebody that they that had an attraction for you it's a seduction, attraction, flirting, dating hooking up, temptation, a third party interference, duh, there's most definitely a third, third party interference especially if you just telling someone that you like someone and, and, and they feel like all of this, I don't see nowhere with a hierophant in the reverse, like, is it a divorce with the empress? If the hierophant is getting a divorce from the empress, it's because she wasn't doing what she was supposed to do. Like, the empress in the reverse is not good energy, like, at all. Like, if there was a woman that feels stabbed in the back because this man likes somebody else and it's being sedu seduced elsewhere, you were not doing what you were supposed to do as a woman. And that's why he left. And that's why you getting this divorce paperwork. But it's cool. I mean, you still get to start. Look, I don't know. Listen. Let me just mind my business. Let me mind my business. Virgo. Look, Virgo said, look, I got to control this beast. got to control this fucking beast. Good gracious. I mean, this bitch is red hot. I mean, she's smoking hot, y'all. Oh my God! I'm trying to tell you with that five of pen, with that five of swords in reverse, she's gonna go low. And I mean, trying to get you fired, type of shit. Trying to ruin your reputation, type of shit, baby. Hold on, why you just tell me to shut the fuck up, bitch? Don't tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look, she said you were being in. Hold on. You're being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face the pillow now and shut the fuck up. What? Bitch, who is you talking to? And then this, this came out too. It said that person better get laid now. Ooh. What's this last one? Where in the fuck is your sense of humor? Oh my God. Mm-mm. Not telling a motherfucker to shut the fuck up. So I feel 
like someone hasn't been. Because remember, did, what did we see at, at the bottom of the deck? Wasn't it just Nine of Swords? Yeah, somebody has been. I told y'all this was a work situation. Didn't I tell you this is a work situation? This is the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> Working and having intentions with somebody else. So again, like someone is being bam. Ugh. I heard bambardered, bambardered and bamboozled. Am I saying that right? Bambardered and bamboozled? Because you all know that this is not shit that I be saying. I can barely even say it. They said they're being bambardered and bamboozled. So it's like being bambardered with a whole bunch of information that I really don't want to hear that's really hurting my feelings. And it's like now I can't think, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I'm just stressed. I can't believe that this is happening to me. I can't believe that this person betrayed me. Like this is all I could think about. This is all that is in my mind and it's driving me crazy. And I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm tired of looking at it. Like... It's some level of mental suffering and abuse that someone is putting their self through that they really need to stop. They really need to stop. It's someone that, number one, there's a level of sexual frustration. You know what I'm saying? It says this person better get laid now. Like, there's a level of sexual frustration that is not helping their mental diaspora. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? I feel like someone could be doing some shit as, and they think it's funny, like it's a joke, and it's it's not a joke because trying to get someone fired and barred from their seat at their job is not funny, you know. But it's like hurt people hurt people. It's like this person is sexually frustrated because you're not getting a person that you want. It's clearly saying that you're not getting enough sleep. It says. You are being an ass because you're fucking tired. Face the pillow now. And why are you fucking tired? Because only thing you can do is think about the dick that you're not getting and all of this bullshit and how everything is not going your way. Like, a nine of swords is when someone is accepting, like, a level of defeat. Like, I, I, I just got to chop this shit up as laws. Because it's like... When you're in the five of swords energy, this is when someone is really low blowing. It's like not accepting the loss. And because you beat me, it's like someone going in and getting a final blow. It's either a bully to the extreme extent. It's like I already took everything from you. And I see you sitting there on the sidewalk and crying. And as you sit on the sidewalk of crying and I and I already unstole everything you got, I'ma come and and kick you in your back. While you're already sitting there on the sidewalk of crying from everything that I've done to you, I'm not done. It's like overkill. You know what I'm saying? I wanna hurt you some more. You know what I'm saying? Cause why are you sitting there crying like a bitch? I wanna fuck you up just just cause you crying like a bitch. Yeah, I took your shit. Why are you sitting over there crying like a bitch for? Why you ain't get up and fight? Since you wanna get up and fight, I'm gonna fucking hurt you some more, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Like that's what I'm getting. <laughs> like that's what I am getting. It's like either someone is being like that. Or it's because they feel like they lost at their own game. It's like this person didn't play to lose. Like, they really didn't play to lose. But it's like at the end of the day, with the five of swords, somebody going about some shit in some sneaky, underhanded way. And it's like, you could have ended up being your own worst enemy because someone that's a little bit smarter than you could have came and tricked the trickster. You feel what I'm saying? Especially with the energy being in the reverse. So it's like someone, it's like, um, I might not, I might not have won the battle, but I'm going to win the war. You feel what I'm saying? So someone might have got away with your man and you let them think that they won that game. Yeah, you won that. But I'm about to destroy your whole shit. Like, you got them, but y'all not, you're not going to be happy with them. Because I'm about to get this nigga fired. I'm about to snitch on this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Because the Father Swords is a lose-lose energy. That's a lose-lose energy. 
And it's like in the reverse, it's like someone either accepting their loss and just being one more the wiser. It's like, yeah, I lost, but I learned about these type of individuals. I learned not to get involved with these people. I know what a thief looked like. I know what a scammer looked like. I know what a robber looked like. I know what a murderer looked like. I know what bad people look like now because of this situation. I know what a bully is. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like either that, like consciously accepting the loss, or it's the card of the extra negative energy of the five of swords. It's like an extreme bully, like someone that is overkill, that does not know when to stop, that is constantly beating somebody when, when they're down. It's like, yeah, I, I took everything from you and I'm going to continue to abuse you until the police come lock me up, like for real. Like I'm, I'm with, I'm with this shit. So like, nah, like I'm the devil in the flesh. Like it's something like that. I really do feel like this, like this, this, this empress in the reverse, like this chick that is feeling stabbed in the back could possibly be evil and do some really fucked up shit because it's like, I feel like she's not handling this shit well. It's like someone's not handling rejection well. And that's why this bear, whoever this person is, is like hiding that they like somebody else because they know this bitch gonna go mother, this bitch gonna flip because this bitch is not gonna be able to sleep. She's not, she's not gonna know what to do with herself. And the reason why she's at evil is because she can't control her motherfucking mind. And she can't accept defeat. And that's why y'all telling me to shut the fuck up. I don't care. I'm still going to fucking talk. I'm still going to talk. And then on the back it says, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I still love you though. Yeah, I still love you too. But I promise you, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay? I promise you, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Alright, and on the flip side it says, One of you is doing too many chores. Get some fucking sleep. Somebody is doing too much. I feel like someone did too much to appease one person to get some type of favor or to get some love or attention out of somebody and it didn't work. It's like they still ended up choosing somebody else. And so I feel like someone's going to take shit too far and they're going to be like, laugh. Where's your sense of humor? No, this shit not funny. It may be funny to you because like I'm saying, hurt people, hurt people. And it's like someone's like, nah, I was just playing. It wasn't even that serious. No, like, yes, it was, man. And don't, don't, don't tell nobody to shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know I know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. I see exactly what the fuck is going on here. It's some petty-ass, bitch-ass energy because someone didn't get what they want and they don't know how to take and face fucking rejection. And I'm going to tell y'all again for the umpteenth million times, do not be fucking with nobody at your job. It's not worth it. It's not fucking work. You see this shit right here? You see this shit right here? Just because a motherfucker can't accept a no. And, and my whole thing is it about, like, this nigga might be a complete motherfucking asshole. Like, whoever this is that the, the, that the man actually accepted and wanted to be with, they, they, you never know, they might break up in a couple of months because this man might be a dickhead. And, you, and, and it's like, to stoop so low to let someone see the absolute lowest of low vibration of yourself just because you couldn't get something that you want. That's like fucking pathetic. And I don't know who this energy is for, but I'm going motherfucker check that shit because that shit is fucking pathetic, bro. And whoever this is that is around this type of bitch ass energy like this, I'm like, for real, y'all need to protect yourself. Y'all need to keep your head on the swivel because this bitch about to go stupid low. Kind of sort of like trying to be on some bully shit, you know. And with this nine of wands right here, you know, it's like I feel like you, you, you got yourself protected and guarded. It feel like you just waiting for this bitch to pop up because you, it's like this, y'all know something is about to happen because it, why you got this mask on? You, you knew that you had to protect whatever it is, your intentions and who it is that you really like and, and what's going on. From this bitch. Because you knew that this bitch was about to try to set some shit off. Because she miserable. And she don't know how to take fucking no. Like bitches is weird bro. Like I can't even do this no more. I really Virgo. Man let me know if we need to slide out on a bitch. You understand? Look the collector gatherers is here. You know we will. Look. 
Hit it too, too, beep, beep down in the motherfucking comments. Look, if it's a bitch playing with you, okay? Hit it too, too, beep, beep down in the motherfucking comments and the whole motherfucking collective gathering crew, we gonna ride out with you. Okay, fuck these niggas. Like, who the fuck? Like, bitch, you is real salty. Who is this salty ass bitch? Listen, I, can't, I gotta go for a go. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all let me know how this is resonating because I really just feel like Virgo is laid back in the Maybach. Okay? Bitch with some Ajax because we about to clean this shit up. Okay? We about to clean these hoes up. These dusties. The fuck? Anyway, y'all hit the like button. Y'all let me know what's going on down in the comments. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Boy.